Welcome back. We are less than a month away from the return of the great Kern County Fair. and You can help staff the Lions Club food booth at the fair and receive a nice perk for your efforts. Joining us in Studio A, Scarlett Saban. Good morning, Scarlett. Good morning. So there you get to be fed, right? That's um, the perk. That's one of the many. Oh, perks. that's one. <laughs> that's only one. All right. OK, very, very good. So just uh, how many people does the Lions Club need to help staff this booth? They're always very busy. They're always very busy because the host Lions booth is right by all of the agricultural and all of the animals. And yeah, they're it's the right at that corner. corner correct. Yeah. And they're the only ones that are open for breakfast. They have quite the killer breakfast burrito. Just saying. <laughs> so all the FFA kids go over there. Exactly. Ah. And they're the only ones when we need our Java in the morning. They're the only ones that have that are open for Java. Oh, most yeah. People. So uh, so how many people are you looking for and how, uh, for how long? What are the shifts? The like? shifts are about five hours a piece. They start from early in the morning, you know, 6 a.m. all the way through close at 10 p.m. And so they're about four to five hour shifts typically. And it's just so much fun. And so when you volunteer, you pay your admittance and your um, parking, but then they reimburse you at the end of the shift. And so oh. if you pick a day where there's a concert or something, you go in early, do your work, get your dinner, they feed you from the Lions Club booth, and then you go see your concert. So that's what we have a lot of people do. Oh, that's okay. So they strategically say, I oh, want to work this Tuesday or Wednesday. Absolutely. And that kind of thing. So those are some nice incentives. And what age group are we looking at here? Because they serve alcohol, okay. we, we 21 and up, right. uh, just for safety reasons. And, but it's so much fun, like if you do want to, like just even go to the fair on a special, like on the last day, a lot of people love to go on the last day of the mm -hmm. fair. They always need help for that. And it's really nice. It benefits the host lions, the Bakersfield Ronald McDonald House, and CSUB Bakersfield. And so oh. it's three great organizations that all do amazing things in our community. And so, and it's a lot of fun. We have people that, man, as soon as we send that email out every year, they are <laughs> on it. And so this is probably our 10th, 12th year doing this with the host lions, so, and so it's fun. Let me ask you, so then is the, has there been a problem of getting volunteers? Sometimes. Since, well, since the, you know, because we're still, COVID, everyone always COVID. talks about coming out of COVID and the fair kind of was the first year out, it was kind of sketch, and then it just seemed like it really picked up last year. And this year, I mean, is, has it been a problem getting people? Absolutely, because people, okay. we always have a few people, things come up. So oh. we'd rather overstaff than understaff. And the more volunteers that we get for the house, then that means we raise more money from the event because they also pay us on the number of hours that oh. our volunteers work at the fair. And then our McDonald's owner operators we love, they supply all the coffee so we get proceeds from the coffee as well. So we're always working you get, it. You get that perk. Yes, elation. we get that yeah. that perk. But it's just, you know, the fair is such a great experience to see all of our friends at the community anyway. Oh, and so it's just another way to help the Bakersfield Ronald McDonald House and every dollar raised stays right here to support our house. See, that's what's so great about it. Now, if people want to get involved with this, how do they contact you or the Lions Club? How does that work? They can call the house and we will direct them to the email of the person handling the scheduling. And, I'm, and I also know they have the email that they're going to share with the viewers today on emailing our contact directly. All right, very, very good. There you go. If you want to get to the fair, do a little work. It's between September 20th and October 1st. Correct. For those dates, if you have some time to volunteer and help out a great cause. So, Scarlett Saban, thanks for being in the studio this Thank morning. You. Appreciate it. You look pretty good in that chair over there. Thanks. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and jump over to Brian. No, Brian, she's. No, I'm not. That's not what I meant. Wow. <laughs> I know what you meant. Just kidding. That's not what it meant. Uh, what a cool opportunity to volunteer. Jump at that opportunity, folks.